So here at the World Economic Forum, I have just escaped for a few short minutes from the hubbub to talk to, I would like to say, my counterpart in China, but he's far more famous and a much bigger name than me. His, na his name is Ray Chunggang, and he is unquestionably the most famous business presenter in China and one of the best-known faces, absolutely. He is certainly an opinion former. Welcome to BBC World you, News. Tanya. Let's have a bit of a walk and a talk. Tell me... You, you, in China, really, social media is a very good measure of how mm -hmm. popular you are. Same, same in many countries, I suppose. Mm -hmm. How many followers do you have in social I media? I have several accounts of social media, and uh, if you are counting the followers, I think in total it would be uh, 11 million, a little more than 11, 11 million. 11 million, extraordinary. Which and is not too big, considering the, the population of China. I'm, well, I'll, I'll keep working on it. <laughs> A lot of people have been concerned that economic growth in China would stall because the economy really needs to make a transition to get to the next stage of development. What do you think is crucial to that transition? We have to provide Chinese people, both the rich and the poor, with greater sense of security. For the rich people, you have to make sure that um, uh, their assets are safe in China. There is a, a spirit and implementation of the rule of law wherever they are so that they will not have to worry about transferring their wealth overseas. And so they're then happy to spend money? Exactly. Knowing that they're secure. Exactly. For the poor people, there needs to be a very good social safety net. Then yes. they will be willing to well, spend. Well, you've mentioned poor people there. China has, the government has been at pains to say that the gap between rich and poor is narrowing. Do you witness that? Yeah, I think the, there are a lot of questions uh, and doubts cast on that uh, statistics. I, I think the widening gap between the rich and poor is a global issue, and China is not uh, uh, exceptional. Uh, and narrowing that gap is critical to, uh, to China's uh, future, which includes, uh, what I, as I mentioned, the, uh, more government input on building a very powerful social safety net because domestic consumption is one of our future and, and current key growth engines. Thank you very much indeed, Ray Chang'eng there. So a very valuable inside view of some of the challenges being faced by China at the moment. But as you can see, he's a very optimistic guy.